Good evening, I'm Clarice Tinsley. The Army veteran accused of holding a gun to his baby girl in a hospital emergency room was battling severe psychological trauma, according to his family. Lorenzo Zarate surrendered after a standoff with police Saturday night in the hospital in Waxahachie. He is charged with three felonies for aggravated assault, making a terroristic threat, and for trying to take a gun away from an officer. His family says Zarate would never hurt his children or anyone else. They blame PTSD for his behavior. Natalie Solis spoke with the family about what happened. Clarice, the mother of Zarate's oldest child, a seven-year-old daughter, says he struggled with PTSD after two tours in Iraq, and she never felt he was ever dangerous and just wants him to get help. 33-year-old Lorenzo Zarate with his daughter Alyssa, her mother says the light of his life, which is why Patricia Moreno says she struggles to understand what happened Saturday evening in Waxahachie. Police say Zarate walked into the emergency room of Baylor Scott and White Hospital with his seven-month-old daughter, pointing a gun at her. Zarate quickly let the child go, but remained in a 15-minute standoff with police, which is when they learned Alyssa was still in the car. And I was shocked. I was, I couldn't believe it. We reached Moreno by phone in Austin. That's not Lorenzo. That's not him, then. I was confused. I, I don't know what happened. Moreno says Zarate was never the same after experiencing combat during two tours of Iraq. She says he was receiving disability because of a PTSD diagnosis and was often paranoid. Memories haunted him, especially one in particular from the battlefield. He explained this little boy holding something in his hand and he told the boy to stop. He kept telling the boy to stop and the little boy didn't stop and he he shot the little boy and that he carried that with him as well and, and he was really hurt by that. Moreno's mother says they believe his actions Saturday in Waxahachie were a cry for help. This person that they're showing and speaking of on the news just breaks my heart because he is not, he is not that person. Instead of being angry, they're hoping for healing. I was telling my dad on the way there, you know, I could slap him, I could push him and shove him, but at the same time, I want to hug him and tell him it's going to be okay. My biggest fear is that he's, he'll sit in prison or jail or wherever without the medical attention that he needs as a disabled veteran. Morena went to pick up her daughter in Waxahachie after the incident. She says she does not know why Zarate ended up there to begin with. He was supposed to drop off Alyssa Saturday evening when his visitation was over, but for whatever reason that is still unclear to those who know him, he started driving north. Police say the other child is with relatives as well. Clarice. Natalie, was Zarate getting medical treatment for PTSD? Well, Moreno says she does not believe that he had been on any medication recently. She says he had taken it at one point, but he didn't like the way it made him feel, so he stopped. And she says he was seeing a therapist at one point, but that ended when the therapist passed away almost 10 years ago. And to her knowledge, he hasn't received any counseling since. Clarice. Natalie, thank you.